here from the Department of Transportation, Paul. Uh, Paul has been the, the project manager uh, for my contact, and that we were able to, to I'll say, package uh, education and exhibits in with this restoration have made all, all the difference in the world because, like I say, the restoration will be done, but the educational exhibit portions, this is where they really step off. And, and I want to turn it over to uh, Patricia Erickson, who will we'll talk a little bit more about that because I think you're going to be really excited about what she's doing. Good afternoon, everybody. The amber color of an old newspaper. The tattered edges of a worn photograph. The quirkiness of an old object whose purpose you can't quite name. I think 100 had a few of those, didn't they? These are some of the qualities and the mysteries of old things that draw us, as you know, into antique stores, into the old trunk of family memorabilia, and sometimes into museum exhibits. What if we could ensure for our children and our grandchildren this sense of discovery, this connection to the past and one's place in it? And what if in the process we could support building the next generation of scientists and engineer citizens? That is part of the purpose of the Seashore Trolley Museum curriculum specifically for third to fifth graders that we've named History in Motion, like the exhibit, Discovering, Discovering History and Science Through Public Transportation. And our primary inspiration for this um, educational project is the Seashore Trolley Museum's mission statement itself, which seeks to uh, really present a history of the origin and development of public transportation and its contribution to modern society. So that's our primary inspiration. Secondarily, we responded to um, the Department of Education, Anita Bernhardt's advice. Um, she's a science specialist for the state in education. And she specifically advised us that um, elementary teachers in the third to fifth grade in particular needed more materials available to them and more professional development opportunities to teach um, science um, and technology at the elementary school level. And she said, if you want a program that's going to uphold the national best practices, then you need to partner with um, the Boston Museum of Science, their National Center for Technological Literacy, and that's what we did. So we have started a partnership with the Engineering is Elementary program, and that really kind of explodes our notion, our whole paradigm that engineering is something you do in college or in graduate school or behind a closed door somewhere, and who knows how it works. It's something that you start at this age uh, here, these Mildred Day School kids. Um, and it's really as simple as identifying a problem and let's figure out how to solve it. So um, I hope that you will join us in supporting um, this program as it moves forward. I think it's exciting. It's been a privilege to work with um, the museum committee, with Kim Traina and graphic design. Um, I have been uh, sucking the knowledge out of this place as fast as possible to, to put it together. So I hope you'll enjoy it today, all of it.